Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop right there. This channel is not intended for kids under the age of 13. So if you're under the age of 13, please leave. Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today we have G.I. Joe Classified Series Duke, and I gotta give a huge shout out to Nate's Toys and Collectibles for allowing me to have easy access to some of these non-exclusive Joes because it just makes it so much easier just to order it and know that it's gonna be arriving at some point. It's like I'm just the the hunting for these is ridiculous. But it comes in that amazing looking G.I. Joe packaging with the awesome artwork here. I love this comic style duke right here now on the left side of the box the artwork from the front continues to go over with the explosion and then we got duke right there but we also have duke just punching cobra commander right in the chops like that's awesome and i really wish that they would have been more consistent with this art style and did it throughout the whole series on the right side of the box we got the new style of gi joe file cards right here you can go to the website and look up what Duke is good at, and he is number four from the G.I. Joe Classified series. On the back of the box, we got Cobra Commander, Baroness, we got the Alley Vipers at the top that I can't wait to see those hit the shelves, and I hope they're not exclusives. Like, I hope the Alley Vipers are not exclusives. We got the Ninjas that we've received, tons of vehicles, his tanks, we got the Trouble Bubbles, Destro, Roblox and Gung Ho, Scarlet, Duke, I mean, pretty much we've seen everybody on this box uh except for the vehicles and except the alley vipers that are at the very top now you can't be a gi joe without a backpack and here we get duke's backpack tons of detail sculpted in there we even got that shovel we got some canteens on both sides i guess he gets really thirsty it's casted in this green plastic and you can just see all the sculpt work that's in there and that shovel <laughs> the shovel itself I thought it could be removed because of the way it's sculpted, but they just painted it really well. Um, you can see right at the top up there that you could, that it was painted, but it would have been cool if the shovel actually came off the backpack. But still, a solid-looking backpack. Now, following the backpack, we do get some modernized binoculars. You know, they are definitely uh, paying respects to the old-school Duke figure that came with a set of binoculars, but of course you can't have the old-fashioned binoculars. We need to get these modernized night vision binoculars. And these are almost like the things that you would paint targets with. And it does have a peg that it pegs right into his belt. I think that's a really cool accessory. No paint. It's just casted in this gray plastic. Now, diving into his firearms, he comes with a pistol. Now, he was the first person to come with this pistol. And we've seen it reused a couple times. And I'm okay with it. I like the design of this pistol being futuristic and still looking like a regular pistol i really like it i love the gold i love that two-tone with the gold and the grayish like plastic continuing with his firearms we do get this futuristic looking like m4 um I, I love it i love the front grip i love the magazine i wish the magazine actually came out and they're continuing with that gold motif which works i think it works well with this and you got the blue paint at the front showing that it's a futuristic laser shooting weapon and one thing that i i feel like a lot of people didn't give enough credit to is look at those optics it has dual optics it's awesome so if you guys play call of duty or you're just familiar with firearms i mean you could actually pop this and they'll flip over to the side giving you access to that eotech hollow on the front and that's awesome i love the fact that this is like a mix of a modern like m4 and a uh, futuristic weapon it's it's cool i really really like it here we get a good close-up of duke i love the face sculpt that they did yeah they gave him a little bit of a butt chin but that's okay adds character along with that scar that iconic scar that duke needs to have and i love his hair i love the eyes i mean they, they nailed this figure it's duke Nobody can deny it's Duke. I love how they're doing the the fading of the paint to the top of the hair, like how it transitioned in different colors and tones. Uh, it's it's pretty awesome. I don't know if you guys can really see it. Let me. There you go. Look at that. I love the transition that they did with the color showing that faded buzz cut look. And it's Duke. Nobody's going to question that this is Duke or not. That's the greatest thing about it. 
He has that Duke vibe. He does have a loose belt casted in this bright green with that uh, painted up communicator. I'm assuming that's what that is. Uh, the paint actually on his little collar there is not painted as nice, this little pin. And then even up here, the red's a little sloppy. So not the best on some of those details, but on the strappings, looks pretty good. The sculpt is definitely there. I love all the sculpted in details that he has in his shirt and everything. Pouches, buttons. And then it's it's weird though, on camera it looks like his arms are a different tone of tan. Which is not a really good thing, I guess. But in from looking at it with the naked eye, you really can't tell. Pouches continue. Oh, look at that, there's texture on the belt too. I love the texture, I love the sculpt work. They don't hold back. Get the same texture and love in this belt as well. The little armored elbow pad with some glowing energy effect, I guess. Um, we get a little bit of, t uh, of paint on here, again with that blue glow. The buckles. His hands look cool. They got the impact gloves. They got a very, very heavily painted orange watch, which I wish it had a little bit of detail for the on top of it. So like the face of the watch, instead of it just blending together. And it's actually sculpted in, so it's not a separate piece. And that is the same with his weird wristband thing he goes that he has there, which could be like a maybe his identification band or something. I don't know. Gloves look good. He's got a holster there. Texture throughout the pants. It's it's awesome. I love what they're doing with this line. We got a little bit of gold on the knees. Shin guards. Got some bullet holes or bullet impacts on his shin armor, which is awesome. And I don't mind the gold. It's subtle. It's there. But, I mean, it's, it's okay. His boots looking pretty awesome as well. Sculpted to the T, to the you know. Tons of details. Even strapping on the boots and everything. This is this is an awesome looking piece. This is awesome. Like this is a good take on Duke in my opinion. Diving into the articulation, Duke can look down quite a bit. That whole neck does move up and down. And he has the disc hinge in there as well. You can actually see it through the back. So tons of articulation. So you can look his head straight up. He's got to work that disc hinge there. It's a little bit tight. And the neck, you know, moves nicely. You get that nice natural feel for the head and neck. Not much attitude. Well, I guess you get a decent amount. Not anything crazy. Um, this is loose, which doesn't really get in the way. We get some butterfly joints in here. They're subtle. They're there, but you really have to work at it a little bit. Arms can go up this far. Disc hinge, full rotation. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, wrist rotation, and a wrist bend. And this one does pop back and forth this way. And be careful because as I was doing it, his arm, hand just wanted to come out of there. But this one goes up and down. This one, of course, will go the opposite way. So good articulation there. Ab crunch with straps and stuff. Not too bad. Not bad at all. Can go back this far. Uh, he can actually go back further than he can forward. That's crazy. And then instead of a swivel at the waist, which is awesome, we get a ball joint. So he gets all that motion in that waist. Awesome stuff. Hips can drop. So just to show you, they go up and down. He could do like full-on field goal kick. We got the thigh cut here. Double jointed knees. Do we have, oops, hit the camera. We got the boot swivel right there, hidden. Awesome. Ankle bend and pivot. So a lot of good articulation just in Duke alone. This Duke is awesome. Like I was questioning the, the wrist bends and everything like that a little bit in my mind, but it works really well, especially when you're trying to get your Duke all sighted up down the optics of his gun. This is awesome. I really, really like it. And then we also, you know, he can hold on to all his gear. He's got the pistol there. He's got backpack on. And he's got binoculars attached to his belt. Great, great looking figure. I really can't get enough of these Joes on how much articulation they have. The detail. 
it's it's a great figure. I mean, I have him holding up his binoculars with one hand. His other one's drawing his pistol. Maybe he sees something in distance he's getting ready for, he's unsure about. But, I mean, this, this is awesome. This figure is great. It's a must-have if you're a Joe collector. I love it. I love, love all the accessories and how they work with these figures, man. Nothing feels out of out of place. It's not like they're just cramming weapons that fit loosely in hands and stuff like that. This actually works with the figure. It looks natural. It's it's awesome. You can even get your Duke in a nice sort of like running position as if he's shooting the enemy in the distance, having some suppressing fire and stuff. Granted, it is with a pistol, but hey, it's a laser pistol. It might have an infinite magazine. But the fact is, the posing on these figures are awesome. The detail on these figures are awesome. It, it's just a modern take of these Joes. And I, they're awesome. They're awesome. I love them so freaking much. And, and all I can just say is G.I. Joes are back. So here we have Duke with the other G.I. Joes that I've reviewed so far. And they look amazing together. Now, some of you might be saying, hey, where's Storm Shadow? Yes, he is that in, he, he's in that Ninja Force style outfit. But in this series, they label him as a Cobra still. So he's going to stay with the Cobras. Because we don't know if after Ninja Force that Storm Shadow went back to... Being on part of Cobra, stuff like that. I mean, we don't really know much about this series or what the game is going to, you know, share with us. So until then, you know, we're going to sort of keep him over on the Cobra side. Even though Storm Shadow does sort of teeter on both sides because he plays both sides. But these figures look amazing. They scale well together. The detail's insane. I I'm, I'm in love with these figures. What can I say? I, I can't help it. I mean, I'm a three and three quarter Joe guy at heart, but... These six-inch figures, man, they're they're doing it for me. They're doing an amazing job, and I'm gonna end up getting every single figure that comes out from this from this line of ser uh, of figures, and I'm gonna try to get a couple of the army builders if I can. It's it's awesome. I, I mean, I'm looking at these guys, and every figure I've been reviewing so far, I've just been blown away. And as long as they keep going on with the detail, the accessories. And really just being, you know, just giving all this attention to detail to these figures, it's going to be an amazing line. If you're a Joe fan, I, I definitely tell you not to hesitate and make sure you jump on these figures because they're awesome. I love them. I love them so freaking much. They're probably my favorite six-inch figures that I've been <laughs> reviewing and actually messing with in hand. I, I love them so freaking much. And it also helps that I'm a huge, huge G.I. Joe fan. So that sums up my unboxing and review of the new G.I. Joe Classified Duke. If you guys like what you saw, hit that thumbs up. New to my channel, hit that subscribe button for me as it'll mean the world to me. And if you want to get an alert when I post up a new video, hit that silver bell notification. And make sure you guys check out Nate's Toys and Collectibles. The link to his little Facebook group is down below. So make sure you check it out. This is where I'm getting all my G.I. Joe figures from that are not exclusives. And I'm also getting my Legends from them and my Black Series. I mean, it's a really good pricing and a good guy to be doing business with. So definitely check out Nate's Toys and Collectibles. And I want you guys to have the best luck hunting. Keep on collecting and have a beautiful day.